Yo, what's going on guys? How is it going? It is Tyler here and today I'm bringing you another drawing video. Uh, if you don't know, I have a stylus here and I do all of my work on my phone uh, as you see here uh, and uh, I do a lot of sketch work. That's what you're going to be seeing me do uh, a lot here. Uh, I, I mean, I do every everything, but uh, I, I love doing sketch work, so that's what you're going to be seeing me do. Now, uh, in my previous video, I did uh, how I did how I find my focus point, um, and a lot of the times in that video, I showed uh, just my basic tree that I start out with. A lot of the times, uh, just with doodling, if I if I don't know what I'm going to draw, uh, you know, I, I usually just start doing that little motion figure eight. Um, and eventually it turns into a tree and I go from there but today I'm gonna be doing another one of my uh, one of my go-to's when when drawing is uh, the tropical scene so today I'm going to be doing kind of a representation of what I do uh, how I start those out um, and how I in a way find my focus point within my tropical scenes but a lot of people do it differently a lot of people try different ways uh in in like the wildlife scene the wilderness scene a lot of people they like to start with their mountains or they start with their clouds first but um yeah so uh in my tropical scene usually i like to just scout out and kind of get my uh where i want my sand to lie so wh where are we standing on the beach um I guess would be an easier way of putting it. Where are our feet and where is the sand lying? So we're going to go ahead and put the sand line about right here. And we're going to keep it jagged because we're going to keep the idea that the water is coming in, right? Um, so uh, we, we just kind of go along the edges like, like that and, and give that type of illusion. Now, uh, what I like to do now is kind of play around with the shading because uh, this is going to be the sand closer to us. It's going to be the sand, so I usually like to play around with a little bit of shading that's separating the water from the sand. Um, it also can give you that angle uh, of where the where the sand is is shifting to. Like what what angle are you really looking at, right? Um, so we're going to kind of just go along, along here like this and give it just a baseline of this is this is what's happening right here so um, I want to give it a little more defined to say that hey there's water here there is wet sand it is darker than the rest of the sand so uh, we I, I like doing that right off the bat to kind of define uh, the line of the water also gives you that uh your free space to just say okay this is this is land this is the ground uh, I don't have to do much with it here. Um, now, I'm doing pencil. Uh, again, I like to do just like sketch concept work. Um, and a lot of times, you know, you just kind of have to take your own perception with it. You just, you just, what, you look at the perspective of it, like where are you standing, what, what setting are you at, and then you kind of just have to put your own um, perspective to it. Um, so, or perception. So it's actually, um, as I'm going further on like this, it's starting to look a little more like water that we're, this is no longer the beach, this is no longer the sand, um, is kind of what it's looking like, the way that I just kind of just let everything flow here. So we may be coming out to this being, um, I don't know, actually, you know what, you know what this could be, watch this. Watch this. Let's go ahead and do something like this. All right. Shade it down here. Give it a little more, a little more volume over here. Okay. Make sure the back end and the bottom stays darker. And we're going to do a little something like this. Completely different turn, but we're staying with the theme. We're staying with the theme. Um, now, it's also still, what I was touching on was, this is still how I start all my, um, tropical scenes, is, is doing that motion. Now, where it leads to, it isn't always the same, uh, if it was, I would always be getting the same picture, uh, but it looks like today, um, that starting sand or whatnot, it, it is sand still, in a way, uh, not, it's land. 
Uh, so we're going to use this as land. This is going to be our land here. All right. And let's get a little bit more defined up there. All right. So this is our land, right? So this is what we're going to do here. Uh, let's make it a little more darker, all that, all that jazz. And then we're going to got to reposition the pin in my hand because we're going to be doing a different motion here. This is going to be the water, all right? So we're going to do this. Since we were doing this motion up there and we're already getting it down, we're going to do it, but we're going to keep it lighter. We're going to give it like a motion that it's coming outward. So I'm just kind of scribble it in, have it coming out this way, like this. Didn't mean to intertwine the lines. That'd be all right. All right. Sweet. Kind of give it like a glassy look here. And again, this is all to do with perspective. You just have to look into it, right? Let's define the bottom of the island, I guess it is. And get the center of it a little more darkened shadow where the shadow should be all right shadow where the shadow should be all right no YouTube's not playing tricks on you I did repeat myself word for word <laughs> it's okay that's what was meant to be said all right so there we are we have our land we have our water there we are. This is about the time where Captain would be screaming land ho. Uh, um, well, he'd probably scream it a lot earlier than this, but we're just going to go with it. All right. So there we are. We're going to darken everything. Again, my cursor isn't defined, so you don't know where I'm bouncing around the page, but I'm just adding a whole bunch of shades here and there uh, just to get things popping and dropping and locking in place. There we are. I didn't know where I was going with that, but found where to put it. All right, so I think we're good on shading the land. Uh, now, water, you don't really necessarily need too much detail in water. You could add a little bit of, like, just light shades here and there, um, but it don't need much. So uh, there's our water. I really do want to define this land line, though, a little more. It kind of fades away in some places, and it blends a little too much. So we're going to define it a little more and be on our way. All right, so we got our land, we got our water. Now, easy thing would be is to add uh, a sun. So should we just add the sun? Mm, I don't think we should. So what uh, you can do is a lot of things, but we're going to do this. So this is something, this is just a nice little little something. Now you can also start a focus point like this. This could be your very first thing you draw, um, but uh, this is not going to be the very first thing we draw. So we're going to come out like here. I'm going to do like this number, all right? We'll just get, it, get the shape going, all right? Because it's all going to, all just going to be, you know, in there like this one more. So we get that coming out like that, we get this coming out like this, all right, and we'll add a third one in, have him going out like this, come down like that, him coming out like this, yeah. So you get the picture of what's happening here, right? What is this? Well, that's, it's a, it's a palm tree, right? So we're going to get the palm tree going and get a nice little shape of everything. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll maneuver. We'll maneuver, right? All right. So let's go ahead and get these leaves going. All right. Now with a lot of this, you're going to just want to go back over it just to get um, get it darkened. Uh, you know, get those that the uh, 
thicker parts, the center parts, uh, get those darkened in, get those shaded. Uh, really all we're doing is just giving it the texture that these palm leaves are coming out. Um, that's really all we're doing. We're not necessarily trying to draw a palm tree. We're just giving it the effect that these leaves are coming down and, and doing their thing. So um, that's, that's the good thing about, again, what I'm doing, my style of what I like to do is more of like that that sketchy concept uh, concept style so if you need something like hey I'm, I'm thinking about this this is more like the art style of like going into the park and going out to a park and, and just taking in what you're seeing uh, just as quickly as possible just, just little scenario sketches so um, we're getting this palm tree going so it's looking looking all right it's not looking too bad be better but you know again we're not drawing a palm tree we're just getting that effect that it's there shade in the center of it because you know you you don't have really leaves in the center of it you have everything else all right so let's get these leaves going as well just give it the illusion that there's there's palm leaves here now, I get this this little method right here for palm trees. You get this from my mom. I always, always doodled. And um, she would just come through and do like, a, you know, little office office doodles. Um, like you're sitting at, a, sitting at an office all day and, and you just start doodling. Um, so she had a little, little portfolio. She could do a little pirate and a little pirate face. She could do little palm trees, just little, um, you know, just little fun things. But yeah, so that was this is my introduction of, of palm trees. This is how she would do hers. She would just draw the, of course, the, um, the start of it all. But then she would get to, to, to the branches and whatnot, and she would just, you know, spider them out and... Uh, and then do this little number right here, just the scratchy back and forth. Um, and if you do it right, shade it right, I, I learned over the years, and then adding color and whatnot, you can get some pretty realistic looks out of this texture right here, just this method, um, with palm, palm leaves, palm meadows, palm trees, this, all that jazz. So, all right, it looks more like a fern than a palm leaf, but, you know, don't tell my mom. Alright, so, we're good on that, and let's go ahead and branch this out a little bit more. A little bit darker as well. Alright, so we have that, and we're going to go ahead and do this little number here. And go all the way over everything. So this is actually going to be the start of the perspective. Let's make sure we get all this the way we want it. Fill this in and there. Make sure it's dark. And we're just going to fill this out. It come down do its thing and the cool thing about palm trees is they're wonky so you know you can do exactly what I just did with them and just just bring them in you don't have to draw a straight line you don't really necessarily have to have texture unless you're really trying to draw a palm tree but really what we're we're just using it as a silhouette um, focus uh, it's it's basically blinded completely from the sunlight all you're getting is just the back end shadow of a palm tree just showing you that it's it's tropical um, so in a sense since we do have kind of the water here then the land back there with the tree closest to us you could kind of give it a sense of like maybe this is a uh, like an oasis type thing a pool of water rather than you know but uh, it, it just it, it gives your mind room to wonder, right? 
instead of just saying, hey, look at this picture, I know exactly what this is. No, you, you can have a chance to, to dabble around in that little cranium of yours. All right, so we have that. Now, if I had more time, I would go in more depth, or go deeper in depth. Um, I would draw more trees. I'm only going to leave one tree just for an example here. Um, but, yeah, uh, normally I would, I would fill it out, maybe put two or three trees um, right here, maybe on the other side as well. But we're going to leave it at one tree. And then just the next thing we're going to do, um, this is a little cool thing we can just do. We can do a half sun, like the, the sun is setting. So we're going to do that right here and have that come down. All right. So we'll have that as our sun. Um, all right. And then we'll have just some extra shadows where shadows are due. Come through here. All right. All right, all right, all right. Shade it a little bit more. Just to show the separation of land and sun. And let's see. We could do a lot more. Um, now, the easy thing is you can always add, always add some birds, just to add the extra effect here. Now you can play around with different angles, different whatevers, uh, but, but we can add two little birds like that. Um, now, a lot of the times you can you can just play around with some cloud uh, looks or whatnot. Uh, we're not going to get too far into it. Um, but that's usually how I start uh, my tropical settings, um, is just kind of like that wave motion, and uh, eventually I kind of just shape out where I'm standing on the beach, um, or uh, what whatnot. Uh, but yeah, this was a little little quick one. Again, no finished product until the artist signs it. So go ahead and give it a nice little signature, 2023. And we do have our picture there. Nice little tropical setting. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope you take something from this. Uh, let's go and shade the base of this tree a little more. Um, but yeah, I, this is my little quick tutorial, I guess, uh, little thing of my tropical settings that I do. Uh, just a little quick um, jotting jotting down the, the memory of, of the site. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you take something from it. Again, I'm Tyler. Uh, all my art, I, I throw it under the, the alias of Stooby Snacks, Stooby Snacks Art Shack. And so, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys uh, hope to see. Um, hope to see you guys want to see more. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys have a wonderful day, and uh, I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.